So what exactly is the difference between a house wrap and a peel and stick or self-adhered WRB? House wraps are the current industry standard for WRBs in both residential and commercial construction. Um, they're made up of essentially a fabric of polypropylene or polyethylene in a way that prevents water penetration, but it will allow for vapor to move through them. This is a rather high quality one made by Proclima, but you're probably more familiar with Tyvek, Typar, or Hydrogap. They're mechanically fastened to the sheathing using either staples or plastic cap nails, and the laps are taped to provide some additional protection against water and air infiltration, but it can be very difficult to get these joints airtight or watertight for that matter, especially if the tape happens to be installed over the plastic staple caps. So the trick with house wraps is to tape or liquid flash the joints in your sheathing to provide an airtight seal, and then rely on the house wrap for your water control layer with a ventilated rain screen. On the other hand, peel and sticks or self-adhered WRBs are glued to the sheathing rather than being mechanically fastened, which provides a significantly better water and air seal since the membrane is bonded to the substrate and not just flapping around in the wind. Now, these are considerably more expensive than house wraps, sometimes up to five to six times the cost, but overall the cost is still relatively low as far as a percentage of the construction budget, and the improved durability implications of a peel and stick membrane are well worth the investment, especially if you want your house to last for many decades without problems. Now, the other category of WRBs are fluid applied membranes which are sprayed or rolled onto the substrate to form a monolithic water and air control layer. The real benefit of these systems is that you can get between every little nook and cranny. Now you might be thinking, this is a piece of zip sheathing, not fluid applied. Well, the green coating on zip sheathing is actually a fluid applied WRB that's layered onto the sheathing during the manufacturing process, so you can kind of get an idea of what that membrane is like when it cures dry. Fluid applied systems like Prosico's Argard can be installed in wet conditions, whereas the self-adhered products tend to peel off, which means that these systems are really useful in rainy or coastal environments. The fluid applied WRBs are the most expensive out of the three, at about twice or three times the price of self-adhered products, but the cost as a percentage of the budget is still relatively low and adds a tremendous amount of value to builders and clients. Whatever system you do end up choosing, make sure that it makes sense for your climate conditions, make sure it's continuous, and make sure it's compatible with the other components in your wall.